I'm so tired today. I came home from a job. I'm redoing a bar for somebody. On the drive home, I thought about just coming home and getting my house cleaned. I'm going out of town on Sunday. I'm flying back to Maryland to finish or to continue working on this job. And I'm like, oh, I'll just go home and be super productive. Get the house in order, get packed, maybe clean some cabinets out, clean everything. And I fell asleep. So now I'm gonna start packing. I am the worst packer. I just bring way too much. Growing up, my dad would give me so much crap for it. And so now I try to be a little bit more easy going with it and just kind of like whatever if I don't wear something I don't wear something but at least I know I'll have everything that I may want it stresses me out and I also have like a whole a whole pile of clothes to put away that are on my couch or that are on my bed right now my least favorite house chore by far is putting away laundry Although I get stressed about packing, the excitement to be traveling solo again is buzzing throughout me. This trip may be for work, but it's the start of something. I can just feel it. I've missed going on the road alone. There's something so invigorating about being on my own and navigating the world. I've always been a bit of a loner part makeup and part because I learned a long time ago it was really hard for me to trust people and doing things alone just felt easier on my nervous system plus I really just like my own company and you are not guaranteed that those who you travel with you'll end up liking or even traveling in a similar way On another completely separate note, I'm exploring my style a bit more and recently I discovered a gal who takes thrifted clothes and repurposes them. She'll mix and match patterns and sew them together, creating these beautiful variations and I just wanted to show her work because I'm so impressed by it. I've linked her information below. I love the contrast of stripes and bolder patterns and when I first tried on one of her shirts, I felt like I had landed on a piece of artwork. Sorry. These are cashmere cuffs. So this one is the bottom part of this top part. And then this is like a little tunic. She said it was a kid's tunic. So I just think it's super fun. This part is the bottom of this one. I like to get to the airport early so that I can get a cup of coffee, i.e. an eight ounce oat milk latte, and then I like to just walk the long halls of whatever terminal I'm in. Back and forth I usually go, occasionally sitting and watching people for a bit. It's one of the most fascinating places to just sit and watch the world go by. I came home from my trip to the slightest hint of fall in the air, drifting in in the early mornings before the heat settles for the day. The bright white summer light has faded a bit and a golden glow of autumn fills the sky. It's my favorite time of year. Not that I'm wishing away the summer or anything, I'm not quite ready for the nine months of cold, but I do love the coming weeks very much. This also means that I am nesting. It's kind of like what expecting women do, but just replace the expecting woman part and instead fill that space with a 43 year old borderline hermit who loves nothing more than to hunker down into the couch with a good book or a tv show now that the week or two of real summer heat we tend to get in seattle is behind us and the cold stormy days of fall and winter are not too far away it's time to get started on some projects that i have been putting off
so my mom and I are going to the Titanic exhibit today in Seattle, which should be really cool. I was obsessed with the movie Titanic, so I'm excited to learn more about the history. Mostly, I have just been working on some projects around the house and feeling that transitions start to happen when fall is creeping in a little bit and summer is starting to dwindle a bit and I'm not nearly ready for it to be gone but I always get excited for fall. I I always wish that it could be it could go from fall to summer to fall to summer and we could just bypass all of winter but I guess that is um not really realistic given that I live in the Pacific Northwest. So I am feeling like nesting lately. So I've been working on projects around here and I'm really loving the way things are going and I feel inspired again for home projects. Sorry, I'm like super slouched. Not very good posture. It's not that cold out. It's just that this is like my comfort sweater and I'm just feeling like being all cozy and comfy. So. I'm gonna get ready to go to this exhibit and maybe I'll I'll try to capture some stuff if I if I'm allowed to. So I am repainting the laundry room again. Actually, this is only my second time painting it, but I felt like it needed something, I don't know, it's such a weird space and it's technically my entry into my apartment and then this enters into my, my actual living space. But I felt like it just needed to feel cozier. This is the same paint as both my bedroom and the bookshelf over here but it just looks different in every space which is so cool sorry if any of that was fuzzy but so and then i'm working with a company called one decor who has all this peel and stick wallpaper i don't know if you can really see how cute it is but it has these little um i forget what these are called not thistles but anyways these little flowers all over it so it's gonna be so cute. I think sometimes places that have really um, short ceilings, uh, it feels cozier when you paint the whole ceiling and you use a little bit darker color. So that is what I'm hopefully gonna finish up today. This is Louis' litter box, but um, he doesn't really use it anymore because he goes outside all the time his little catio but come winter time he will be using it a little bit more because i will not be having that window open all the time eventually i want it to get a bench where i can still put his litter box in there but have um some kind of bench seating for when i put my shoes on and whatnot and then maybe a little um something over in this corner but these are just some dried flowers that i got from a friend they're in the process of drying and this is a just a wood dowel that I put up there as a drying rock. I could just put hangers up there, but I kind of like it with the flowers. So maybe I'll keep that like that all year long. All right, now back to work. Working on home projects always brings me back to a place of peace and just being really content. 
I think sometimes I procrastinate on finishing these projects because I wonder what I'll do with myself if I don't have something to work on. But then I remember that living in an old home, you always have something waiting on your to-do list. With the cooler mornings and the hint of autumn in the air, I'm just really excited to bring so many new visions to life. And this little update in the laundry room is just the beginning. I always think your home should be a reflection of you and what brings you joy and comfort. I recently wrote a piece on Substack talking about how I design my home and it's just that. I have a few pieces of art that I will never give up and I use those as a focal point and find things as I go. I guess I'm really not in any big hurry and if an idea isn't fully formed then I just sit on it until I'm ready to take action. hair so one of the things I've been trying to do is figure out how to have more lighting in my space because I only have a couple outlets I have an outlet right over here behind the camera and I have an outlet over in the bookshelf and I can't over what's the word I'm looking for um, I can't plug everything into it so I did a little searching on Amazon. This is a USB charging touch lamp. It's not going to give me a ton of light, but it is more about ambiance. And so I really want to get one more lamp and I'm going to put it in that corner by Baker. So it needs to be like a skinny floor lamp. But I also got, this is one for my new open shelves. Look at this. Look at all the different settings. I'll link them below just because I know people will want to know where I got them. The only thing about this one is it's like really, really gold. So I might distress it a little bit, but it's so cute. So the other thing that I'm really, really excited about right now is I've been working on the pantry. So I have some... Ooh lighting but I have some other things I want to do in here for sure but I did get this contact paper that I'm gonna be lining all of I already did this one right here it's like a marble inspired contact paper but I really love having a pantry and a place to walk into but I want to get a pendant lighting that kind of hangs down right here nothing too big and then I need to fill in some cracks and then paint this right now it's painted like a pink color because I don't know I was just using what I had on hand but I'm not sure I love it and I may have to repaint it but also trying to like push myself just to like stick with this pink color I do want to add some art in here I want to get some gingham fabric in like maybe like a darker brown or like a burnt orange and make a little um, drape down here for where down here for where baker's food is so i can just hide that 
and that is it my friends these vlogs are so random but that is all i really have energy for right now if you like my randomness make sure you subscribe and hit the thumbs up because it pushes these videos out to youtube and it also just makes me smile so i'll see you next time